Alright, let's go. We only have still a little bit of left. We can't. It's too water. hot. You need water? Awa. Well, I need money. I'll go get you the water and I'll come right back. I need money though. Uh -huh. We have pesos? Pesos? I don't accept pesos. American dollars, please. That's all I got. Okay, Bring this, us water. This should be enough. Okay, I'll be right back with your money, I mean with your water. Okay. Okay. But are you going to come back for sure? Yes, it's only over this bridge. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, don't worry about it. Okay? My intention was for them to cross the border. We never knew that this tragedy would happen. But it's okay, because I have a cousin. His name is John. John Doe, right here. He's just like your cousin. Just an inch, just like a little inch smaller. He's just the same. He's just the same. He's just the same. He's just the same. He's not. He has a family and But he, he's not my family. He can be family. We're all family. No, I thought you were no. gonna get me a family. This is your family now. This is not my family. Okay. I'm sorry, but I, I what you're doing is wrong. Like it's not <laughs> fair to others. And it's not fair to me. You can't treat my family like that, like if they're nothing. Dude, yes, that was crazy, huh? Yeah, the girl Emma Gonzalez, who's like bringing that awareness to gun control, she's so powerful, so powerful. It's funny because it reminds me of that one book that we read, The Devil's Highway English. Oh yeah, Fernandez's class. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know how like the immigrants were like rebels, but they weren't praised. Like, but in here, like now we have Emma, and she's like praised, and she's like on that. She has that pedestal to speak about gun control. Yeah. She's great. She's great. Really. She's influencer. to the quote, uh, Mendes told them to wait and he'd be back with the water and help. Those with watches checked them on page 156. Um, Mendes knew that if he would have left that he was not going to come back, that either the border, border, patrol, border patrol was going to come after the walkers or it was going to come after him. So he knowingly just took the money and left um, as they were nothing. He used the quote, rather my intention was to help them across the border, but we never imagined this tragedy would happen. Um, this quote was said by Rooster Boy, page 68, and he was saying that in his letter that he didn't think that this tragedy would happen, that all the deaths would happen. However, he knew what he was getting himself into. He knew being a guy that, that he was going to kill people along the way um, on the Dells Highway. They need to work faster. Andale! Hurry up! It needs to be over here, not over there. Over here! Pinche mugroso. Hurry up! We don't have all day. I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Where are you going, Tonk? Ya no mas trabajo. America. Man, did you see that? 
tuition's so high now. I know, man. Education sucks. I don't know why it's so expensive. Ugh. You guys talk about school? Yeah? I know school. That shit was too expensive. That's why I dropped out. Now I'm just here, sitting in front of school, getting high off of life. You're not smoking anything. I can't, I can't afford it. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford this. This is so expensive. Dude, school, I hate it. It's too expensive. Too expensive. She's coming, it's like, go, go, go. She's hey, what's up, like... guys? Were you guys interested in buying a 2018, 2019 yearbook? It's only 184 if you guys are interested. Just I go ahead and send this petition right here. I don't Let me have see. any money. Nope! Yes. Your mom's a hoe. That's our answer. Education. 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 Yeah. We need better tuition. It's too expensive. We need education. Help us students. I'm tired. Get lost. <laughs> you. Detention. Detention. You're not even wearing an ID. Detention. Detention, bitch. I need an ID. Get out of here. My name's Sarah Carlos, and I'm the bitchy teacher and the preppy yearbook girl. to go with you. Take no, me. No, you're staying here with your mom. Let me go with you. So the reason why I chose this scene was because even though throughout the book Doya talks about dehumanization, he also does talk a lot about desolation and desperation. So the desperation part would be where Raimundo Sr., he decides to leave his family behind and go to the north to come back and be able to provide more for his family. And so to me, the desperation part was that he was actually willing to leave his family behind and come back. And so not only does this happen with him, but this also happens to the other immigrants that went along with him that they wanted to leave for a better life. <clears throat> and the desolation part would be where they go into no man's land and they all die one by one and they all die alone. So they all had their own story. They all died alone. Even though they tried to understand each other, they didn't really understand. And they, they all understand why they were leaving, but they didn't understand their own personal needs. So that would be the desolation part. Control the jail. See, I believe if God is really never judging me, because He knows it's all enough for me. The bitterness and pain got him beaten on his way.
settle down. Your thoughts. That's great. I really like the commentary that you guys are saying. You know, it's very open-minded. You guys are very well aware of what's going on. So, to introduce this book to you guys, I want to give you guys a little background to how I feel that J. Cole connects to this book. So, since J. Cole is a rapper and he has a very large platform, he does talk about black oppression and how people go to drugs for an escape. And he basically raps about how, you know, drugs... Uh, cartels things like that it's not the only escape for them and so since he's worshipped as a rebel in America today the immigrants in the story they're worshipped as you know danger or a threat because they want to leave their hometown and create a better life for themselves and for their family and this is exactly why J. Cole is a perfect example of a rebel today because he speaks about it and he's worshipped about it and he teaches young teenagers today that you know the things that are happening on right now is not the correct thing and it's not the right thing and he's teaching them through his music and that's why he's considered a rebel today. Urea. Urea argues that America then, aka Border Patrol, did not accept rebels. Instead they dehumanized them and they criminalized them. However today, America embraces rebels, they glorify them, and they're accepted. And that is what my videos are about. Go, go, get the machine, get the machine, go! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Share more rosa. See? This senora has lost a Juan Garcia. Who? Juan Garcia, mm -hmm. no, two, one. Oh, he's dead. ¿Qué? He's dead. ¿Qué, qué es eso? Está muerto. Como muerto, como... Ah, sí. Sí, muerto. Ya es... <coughs> muerto. ¿Muerto? Sí. ¿Juan? Sí. ¿Juan? ¿No se dos? murió? Sí. ¡Oh! <coughs> no, no puede ser. No. ¿Me puedes mirar? No. It's not true. Está fuera. It's true. It's true? Sí. Ok. A ver. Vámonos. Punch, Mr. Dunn. Ahora sí. Muerto. so often here we forget <laughs> if you don't work here that means that death still means something to you yeah it's called being human <laughs> well um you have five more minutes because we're gonna have a party right here so can you move it along thanks i'll see you later <laughs> oh my For my plot, America dehumanizes the immigrants. Therefore, I chose the two quotes. The first one referring to the secretary who um, introduced a senora and referred to her loved one as a Juan Garcia. Little things like that show how insignificant or how disrespectful they can be towards um, the death of a loved one. Another quote, the other quote that I used was a confession from Border Patrol saying how 
they share no remorse for the walkers who didn't make it, who passed away on their journey. And this shows how they dehumanize the walkers and also how they themselves no longer have those human qualities that share empathy. One quarter pound hamburger requires over 660 gallons of water to produce. What the hell? One. What? One patty requires 660 gallons. Yara. Ah! What are you doing? I'm making dinner. Haven't you heard the government was doing? With no. the meat industry? No. Why are you picking leaves from a tree? These are gross. No, this is my food. It's all about veganism. You're gonna get sick. No, I have to show you the video. Lastly, for America Today, Cowspiracy is a documentary that rebels against the government and their agricultural system. Therefore, America Today and its needs for improvement for the future is what leads the movement of veganism, especially with the youth who um, now has a lot of testimonies. And this proves that America today accepts rebels. They want them and they embrace them and they glorify it. And this is proven by how many testimonies there are.